Okay, Sherry, this is your puppy. This is 5661. In fact, I'm gonna double check before I tell you that and I find out it's not your puppy. Yep, it is, 5661. So it's gonna get its first haircut today. So she's gonna go, what are you doing to me? She has tons and tons of hair, Sherry. So we're gonna, takes about, depends on how wiggly she is. Oh, she says, I'm not sure I like this. And Sherry, if you decide to do this at home, the nice thing is, and the big difference is, the difference in a good haircut and a bad haircut's three weeks. It grows out, Sherry. So you can also follow the lines that I did. I'm gonna take all this long hair off her tail. I'm probably gonna be covered with hair by the time I get done with her. But she has so much hair. I'm gonna get her tail all trimmed off here. She says, whoa, what are you doing back here? I know you're not liking me doing this. Sorry, I'm gonna set this blade down just a little tiny bit. Stop. There we go. Now I'll get this side of her hips trimmed off. We're getting the tail done. She's not liking it. She says, I've got puppy got puppies behind me, of course, that are gonna play and be noisy. Or I guess they're in front of me, they're behind Vanessa. I know it. It tickles on your back, doesn't it? All right, let's get your skirt done. Look at all the color that comes out when you cut that back. I don't cut the ears. And I will not let anybody cut the ears until she's at least eight months old. This is a she, isn't it? Yeah, this is a she. I know, I'm gonna cut right up to the ears and I'm gonna leave the ears sticking up. And again, this is how I cut. This doesn't mean this is how you have to cut. This is just how we have always done it. And of course, these loud puppies are gonna play. And usually I hang on to this face because I don't want her to take that eyebrow off because they look really funny without their eyebrows. So let me get some of this hair out of the way. She's like, what are you doing to me? So we're gonna go up the side of her face. We're gonna give her Schnauzer beard. She says, what are you doing? We're gonna go right in front of your ears. We're gonna go right over your eyebrow, but we're still gonna leave you an eyebrow. And when I'm done, I'm gonna trim her eyebrows so she has a regular Schnauzer eyebrow. I never ever cut towards their eyes, Sherry. I always go away from their eyes. I'm gonna trim the back of this off right behind this ear. Sometimes it's easier to do it with the collar on them also because I'm hanging onto her face and her ear over here. I'm gonna pin this ear up in the air so I can and that noise you hear are the puppies tearing up their papers this morning. All right, so we're gonna go down her neck and I'm gonna come over here and meet the lines on her side. Whoops, you're not going anywhere, Tootsie. Nope, you're not going anywhere. We're gonna go right up the bottom of this ear. Okay, we're gonna go down this way. Gonna make that line just a little bit straighter. Sometimes I hold them up off the table. It gives me a line where I can go right up their side with a line. And I'm actually gonna go up this side and make it a little bit shorter. Nope, nope, gotta stand still. A little bit shorter so it lines up with the other side. There we go. That looks a little better. And sometimes if they get really rowdy and they move on you, don't panic. It's, you know what, it'll grow out. Are you watching what those guys are doing? Yeah, you just keep right on watching. This does give you, get you really hairy. I know you're watching me over my arm. All right, so we're getting this off the back side a little bit. Still can't get her tail the way I want it because she won't hold still. All right, I'm gonna pick you up off the table and then I can do your tail without you moving. I'm gonna get all these little stragglers off the end of her tail. Nope, hold still. 
This is where I get all hairy. Yep, you're fine. Nope, put your leg down. There you go, I'm going right down your leg. I'm gonna go right down this other leg. Okay, and there's the back end finished. You can see I've got her lines pretty much the same. Stop. I might take this one off just a tiny bit. And you can take that, some people don't like a skirt, you can take that skirt clear off. So it just depends on the look that you like. The head gets a little bit more intense because they're a lot more wiggly for their head. But the reason I don't cut the hair off their ears is if you do, they'll learn to control their ears and they can hold them up in the air like a jackrabbit. So I don't cut any hair off their ears whatsoever until they're eight months old. And by that time, the calcium in their body is finally uh, regulated and it quits, quits going up and down and then that way their ears will quit going up and down but this way it lets them i know you want to play i don't want to play she says i don't mind this too bad now i see you i know we got to cut this eyebrow down a little bit hold still nope 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 this is where i hold their head pretty still because i don't want to lose an eyebrow and i actually hold that eyebrow down so i can trim along the side of it all right so we're not too bad we're not too far from being done but the other thing is, I'm gonna lay her down. I'm gonna shave the bottom of her feet off because all, and I use her feet, her, her toes, I go right up, she needs her toenails cut. So I'm not gonna be able to cut this off right here as short as I want, because she's got long toenails. So she's gonna get those cut off today. But once they're cut off, then we'll shave these. And I hold my hand there and I go right up against my hand. And with short nails, it makes it really good because you can keep them from dragging so much junk in. And this tickles when I'm doing this, so that's why she's wiggling so much. She's never had her feet done. Stop, stop, stop. I'm also gonna trim her vulva off a little bit. I know, I know, she says, what are you doing? She's mad. Right now, she's just flat out mad. Nope, you're not getting up. Are you giving me the eyeball look? Yep, you're giving me the eyeball. And she's not getting hurt, she's just mad because I won't let her up and she's never laid in this position before. All right, can I finish trimming your vulva? There, got it. Now, I'm not gonna let you up till you quit fighting. Nope, you gotta be good. Good girl, now you can get up. Yeah, she, you gonna lay there now? All right, let me get a pair of scissors. So just stay focused right there and I'll be right back. All right, so I take a pair of scissors and I'm gonna trim these eyebrows. So for me, it's easier if I trim them from the back forward. In fact, I got a little bit of hair left right here on the corner. There we go. So I pull these eyebrows forward and I've got a little bit more hair on this one than this one. So I'm actually gonna run right up along the back of this one, take off a little bit more hair. So you want them cut at an angle. You want them close to the skin in the back, but you want the point left out front. So I'm gonna cut the back. So it leaves your fluffy part out front. Some people start up here and leave the fluffy part in the back and that's not the way it's supposed to be. And she's gonna wiggle. So if, a lot of times I'll hold their head still and I'll just angle this out as a wedge. So let's see how close we are about the same. Yeah, you know, this one's got a little bit more hair on it than the other one. I probably should stop where I'm at or I'm gonna regret it, but I'm gonna take just a smidge off. Nope, stop. All right, that makes us look a little bit better. I'm gonna take a little bit more off of that point. Now, how's your eyeballs look? All right, so there you go, Sherry. That's a quick rough in haircut. This side's a little bit taller than the other. I'm gonna zip it off. I'm actually gonna take this down. I'm gonna turn her around this way, hold her head up. I'm gonna take this skirt down to where it meets the sides. I didn't do that before. I know you're a wiggle wart. All right, so there's her pile of hair. She had a bunch of it. And there's her finished do. 
Okay, I got this new do. Huh? Got a new do? Yes, you got a new do. Oh, there's a little bit. And you know what? You never get it perfect. You'll find some place you left. Like, I just saw that there. And, uh, but the big thing is, this is not hard to do at home. And if you were going to take her to a groomer, you're going to spend $45 to $65 to do that. And give her a bath. I haven't plucked her ears yet. But her ears don't have a whole lot. They probably won't get plucked till about eight weeks old. She's like, what did you do to my body? See, I'm naked. I am naked. I know it. This is a good girl. I know. You're a good girl. So, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that helps if you try to do it at home. Super easy. They look super cute. I love a skirt. Some people don't like the skirt. Oh, they're schnauzers. So... Have a good one, and um, we'll get you a video with the whole crew this week. Talk to you later.